remember we as Muslims we don't celebrate Christmas we don't actually know when the birthday of Sayyiduna Isa salam actually took place if we knew then to celebrate it in a permissible way would have been allowed in a permissible way not with Christmas trees and cakes and this and that but rather to have a gathering like this and to talk about the life of Sayyiduna Isa alayhi salam etc would have been permissible and we will do this in Jumu'ah closer to the date or one of these whenever everyone has holidays inshallah will uh, do the whole speech about the life of Sayyiduna Isa alayhi salam inshallah but we don't know exactly when his birthday was however we do know that in the Quran Almighty Allah sends peace upon Sayyiduna Isa alayhi salam the day he was born so this shows that the birthday of a prophet is like no ordinary birthday. So if we celebrate it in a permissible way, without doing anything haram, it's allowed. But we don't engage in Christmas cards, Christmas <coughs> trees, any of that. Otherwise, we will fall into the category of the hadith mentioned in Sunnah Nabi Dawood, Man tashabbaha bi qawmin fahuwa minhum. Whoever imitates a group of people on the day of judgment, the person will be from amongst them. On that day of judgment. So if we want to please those people that celebrate Christmas, the Christians, on the day of judgment, we will be with them. So we celebrate the birthday of Sayyidina Isa Islam by making dua, or have a gathering at home, make dua, and so on and so forth. Don't engage in the activities that they are engaging in school and in the community. May Allah protect us from it.